Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Movie Melee. I am your host, Caleb Coho, and we have for you another singles match of facing off of two opponents who have had pretty solid years all around. Antonio Chavez taking on Jordan Owens. It should be a good one. We'll go ahead and talk to our competitors starting with uh, Jordan Owens. Uh, last time we saw you, you managed to take out Kaiser in round one of the tournament, made it to round two. Pretty huge upset, I think, in the minds of a lot of people. You've been putting together a solid season so far, and now you get a chance to come back. Uh, how do you feel about playing Antonio? Oh, uh, yeah, well, the challenges haven't stopped, man. Antonio is a great competitor here, man. He's a buddy of mine as well. So I'm um, looking forward to the challenge, though. See how much I can uh, hold up and uh, looking forward to it. I'm coming for you, Ant Man. Like Absolutely short and sweet. Uh, we'll bring <laughs> we'll bring in Antonio and Jake. Uh, you guys, uh, Antonio, you you've been one of those guys. You've been around since the first season, technically speaking, of our Canon leagues, and you've been playing a hell of a season this year. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. I actually been you know catching up on a lot of uh, blind spots, so to speak. And uh, when I saw this match, I was like, damn, but because I, I love JPO, but uh, it's really fun to go up against him one on one. So I'm just curious to see how this turn out. May all get freaking size swapped. I don't know, but I'm still hoping to just uh, keep moving forward. And uh, come yeah, on. I mean, this is just gonna like I like these kinds of matches where it's just super chill and like the opponents like each other, and it's not like there's like there's no like edge to it, but like. Obviously, they both want to win, but still, like, just super chill and like, I makes my makes my job easier. But I love being in Antonio's corner, especially with how he's been playing this year. It's just been awesome to watch, and I want to see it keep going. Absolutely. So we'll go ahead. We'll say goodbye to Jake for now, and we'll get into round number one, which works like this. You're each going to get eight questions from eight different areas within the realm of general movie trivia. Should you get all eight questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats for the entirety of the match and a challenge rule. Any questions as we get into round number one? Sounds good. All right. Then your first question will come in the category of recent releases. In 2023's House Party, the titular party is at a house that belongs to what famous athlete? When I was in high school, I used to compete speech and debate, and I was the obnoxious kid that would always call myself a verbal athlete. I even made a hockey jersey with the words verbal athlete on the back, and um, I didn't have a lot of friends because of that. I guarantee it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to uh, Antonio. Thank God for trailers. LeBron James. And we'll go to Jordan. Screw you. I watched the entire thing. Yeah, LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James is correct. 1-1 one, one. as we get to your second question, the category of actors and actresses. Who collaborated with John Singleton, Cameron Crowe, and Wolfgang Peterson for films released in the 1990s? <laughs> Fun format of a question. In a different match that if you are watching all the multiplex content can piece together based on my outfit, what has been filmed in order of events, you would be able to piece together that in a match that was filmed just before this, we were talking about decades that we were alive in the entirety of. This is not one of them, but I was alive in this decade, so there you go. Five, four, three. I'll, I'll take a two. repeat. Repeat, repeat. All right, that is JPO's first repeat. Uh, your question again. Who collaborated with John Singleton, Cameron Crowe, and Wolfgang Peterson for films released in the 1990s? Wolfgang's such a cool name. Goddamn right it is. Oh, man. Wouldn't you like to collaborate with people? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we'll go to Jordan first. I threw out Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, we'll go to Antonio. Throw up Gary Oldman. Uh, Kubigan Jr. is correct. So, oh, uh, Jordan a 2 1 lead. Let's get to the third question in the category of horror. What 80s horror film centers on a family that lives in a neighborhood called Cuesta Verde? Very good. Words. Clear with pronunciations. Very good at it. Cody loves it when I solo host because they go fast, but he also is cringing every time because I'm basically just having a conversation with Cody in the back of the room. It's great. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Antonio. Hopefully educated guest. Poltergeist? And we'll go to Jordan. I said Fright Night. Uh, Poltergeist is correct. So Antonio will draw us tied up two to two as we go to your fourth question of the category of the 1970s. Meatballs primarily takes place at what type of location? Tie game here as we are in the fourth question. We got ourselves a good one. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, and we will go to Jordan. Said the camp. And we'll go to Antonio. That sounds right. It's a restaurant. Uh, camp is correct. We also would accept it. Summer camp. Jordan takes the lead again, three to two, as we get to your next question in the category of Oscars. Dog Day Afternoon, Rain Man, and The Usual Suspects all won what Oscar? This is hard. I got, you know, I got two people could be co-hosting. We can't because it's got to compete. You know, so they, so it has to be five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to uh, Jordan. An original screenplay. And we'll go to Antonio. No, oh, said best original screenplay. Uh, best original screenplay is correct. So move on to your next question in the category of the 2010s. Toby Kebbell. Ben Foster and Dominic Cooper co-star in what 2010s fantasy film? I am known to love fantasy films so strongly in every way, always. Yep. I'm so just fair. Dripping in sarcasm. Five, four, three, two, one. Pants down, we'll go to Antonio. Warcraft? And we'll go to Jordan. Warcraft. Warcraft is correct. So we move on to your penultimate question, the category of animated movies. In Beowulf, what is the name of the creature he must slay that also attacks the Mead Hall? I love my writing team. I love them. Because sometimes they, like, give me things like this, where I read the category of animated, and then I get to read, you know, the name of this movie, and damn Threw a curveball at me. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Jordan. Broomhilda. Uh, we will go to Antonio. Grendel. Yeah, that makes sense. Grendel is correct. So Antonio draws it tied up five to five. As we go to the final question of the round in the category of drama. Who directed 1958's The Defiant Ones? It's a good one. I enjoy this one. I heard of it. Hands down. We'll go to Antonio. John Houston. And we'll go to Jordan. John Wayne. Uh, both incorrect. Looking for Stanley Kramer. Stanley Kramer. So, at the end of round number one, we are all tied up five to five. But anything can happen is to get round number two, which is the wheel round, and it works like this. You're each going to get a chance to spin from the level wheel from wheeldecide.com. Should you like the category land on, you're going to get five questions worth two points apiece. You can opt to multiple choice by D values down to being only worth one. If you don't like what you land on the first time, you can spin again, but you're stuck with the line on that second time. There is stealing in this round, so be aware. Uh, Jordan has two repeats. Antonio has three. And Antonio, since you were the higher rank competitor in this match, will bring in your manager. Would you like to go first or defer to Jordan? I think we can go second. Yeah, we can defer. All right. So I ain't scared. Jordan, this will be your spin. I ain't scared. Wheel. And you land on the category of 21st century horror. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll keep it. Really? All right. 
So we're going to put the wheel away. Go ahead and give you your questions to 21st Century Horror. Your first question. What 21st Century Horror film that is a sequel to a 20th Century Horror film is about a supporting character from the original film developing alcoholism and PTSD due to the events of the original film? Halloween, final answer. That is incorrect. Antonio, the chance for the two-point steal. Doctor Sleep? Well, Doctor Sleep is correct for the two-point mm. steal. All right, during your second question. A pandemic of what disease is going on during Pearl? Multiple choice. Your options are A, influenza, B, cholera, C, HIV, or D, coronavirus? Uh, A. Uh, that is correct for one point. A. <laughs> Your third question. What is Mike's profession in 1408? Writer. Final answer. That is correct for two more points. And your uh, pet ultimate question in 21st century horror. In Don't Breathe, what item does the blind man use to impregnate his female victims? <laughs> That's a question? Um... It is, unfortunately. Baster. Final answer. That is correct for two points. And your final question in 21st Century Horror. How many Saw films does Tobin Bell appear in? Oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Eight. Final answer. Uh, that is correct for two points. Yes. So at the end of Jordan's turn, he gets the score up to 12. Antonio the Steel is up to 7. As we bring back the wheel and Mr. Meltzer for Antonio's spin at the wheel. Oh, great. <laughs> Are you on an opponent's choice? So, uh, thank you, Jake, for being here, but you unfortunately don't have to say. Jordan, what would you like to give Antonio? Can I, can I see the list at the bottom? <laughs> Uh, yes, you may. Uh, your uh, options are 90s comedies, comic book movies, crime, actors and actresses, sports, coming of age, and family. All right, let's see how you do with, uh, <laughs> 90s comedies. Okay. All right. So, okay. we'll away. All right, Antonio, your first question in the category, 90s comedies. What kind of business does Mr. Henry use as a front for his crimes in Bottle Rocket? Multiple choice. Your options are A, landscaping, B, pool cleaning, C, antique shop, or D, deli. Antique shop. Uh, that is incorrect. Join the chance of the one point steal. Your options are A, landscaping, B, pool cleaning, C, antique shop, or D, deli. Say pool cleaning. Uh, that is also incorrect. Look for A, landscaping. Damn. I'm you your second question. Who directed Wag the Dog? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Robert Altman, B, David O. Russell, C, Barry Levinson, or D, Chris Columbus. B? It's unfortunately incorrect. Jordan, the chance for one point still. Your options are A, Robert Altman, B, David O. Russell, C, Barry Levinson, or D, Chris Columbus. Barry Levinson. That is correct for the one point steal. Your third question, Antonio. In Sister Act, Dolores witnesses a murder when she tries to return what item to her boyfriend? Damn, multiple choice. Your options are A, necklace, B, gun, C, car keys, or D, coat. Car keys? 
That is incorrect. Jordan Travis with one point still. Your options are A, necklace, B, gun, C, car keys, or D, coat. Coat? Uh, that is correct for the one point steal. All right, Antonio, your fourth question. In Ghost Dad, what specifically happens to Elliot that turns him into a ghost? But, uh, multiple choice. Your options are A, driven off a bridge, B, hit by a motorcycle, C, falls off a ladder, or D, tree falls on him. Can I get a repeat of the options again? Absolutely. Your options are A, driven off a bridge, B, hit by a motorcycle, C, falls off a ladder, or D, a tree falls on him. A. Four. That is correct for one point. And your final question in 90s comedies. In the paper, who plays managing editor Alicia Clark? Multiple choice. Your options are A, Marissa Tomei, B, Glenn Close, C, Catherine O'Hara, or D, Bonnie Hunt. Repeat the options again, please. Your options are A, Marissa Tomei, B, Glenn Close, C, Catherine O'Hara, or D, Bonnie Hunt. Bonnie Hunt. That is unfortunately incorrect. You're on the chance of the one point steal. Your options are A, Marissa Tomei, B, Glenn Close, C, Catherine O'Hara, or D, Bonnie Hunt. Glenn Close? That is correct for the one point steal. So at the end of Antonio's spin, I have a score of 15 to Antonio's 8. But I think it still happens as we get into round number 3, which is the new and improved Pick Your Poison round. It works like this. You're each going to draft from the set number of categories until you've each drafted all all 8 categories off the board. You'll each have 4. Uh, once you've drafted all the categories, once you take it, one, your opponent cannot take the same category, you will choose what category and what question you'd like the point value at between a 1, 2, 3, and 4 point question. You can only hit one point value each for each question. Um, we'll go until there's map elimination or score reaches zero, which is not possible because this is a pin. So uh, your categories on the wheel tonight, not on the wheel tonight, but on the board tonight to draft are comic book movies, horror, westerns, classics, Oscars, romance, 1970s, and animation. Go ahead and do that draft right here. Yeah. Okay, let me put these in the chat real quick for you. Bring in Jake. All right, there are the categories. Uh, all right. So, Jordan, since you were in the lead, you get to draft your first category first. Uh, I'll do comic book movies at one. You don't have to do a point value. You can. Um, all right. So, comic book movies is off the board. Antonio, what would you like to take? Uh, well, obviously, that was the one you wanted. Mm -hmm. Um. But I would say um, of this, I mean, you like you picked the horror. So if it's like from within the last like 20, 30 years, I feel like it'd be a. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mind actually taking a gamble on that. Yeah, let's do horror. Yeah. All right, Jordan, what would you like to take for your next category? Uh, romance. All right. Uh, Antonio, back to you. You want to do animated? Yeah, animated. Okay, let's do animated. All right, Jordan, back to you. Uh, excuse my ignorance. I, I can't do horror now? Or I can still nope, do horror? Uh, horror's off the board, yeah. Oh, off the board completely for everybody. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Well, that, that throws me off. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oscars. Okay. Uh, Antonio, what would you like to take for your next one? Um, it's between... Mm, I would say... No, maybe, I was going to say like 70s or westerns, because like yeah. particularly if you take it at one of the 
lower point values, it will more likely be a data question, which I think, like, in yeah. Westerns, I think you could be okay with that. Okay, so then let's, yeah, let's go with Westerns. Yeah. So let's go Westerns. All right. Uh, and, Joy, what would you like to take for your final category? Uh, class, uh, 70s. 70s. All right, so Antonio, that means you'll get classics. All right, and Jake, you can still use the chat, so let's get it out. All right. All right, Antonio, you are behind, so you'll be answering questions first. What category would you like to take, and at what point value? Uh, it's just not got classics for one. All right, classics for one. It is your one pointer. Who plays history professor George in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? No way this one's close. Uh, Clark Gable. No idea. Uh, it's unfortunately incorrect. We're looking for Richard Burton. Richard Burton. Uh, what category would you like to take at your next point value? Uh, yeah, let's go for horror at four. Okay. Uh, so here's the situation. If you hit this, we'll continue to ask some questions. If you miss this, that will be a TKO for Jordan. So uh, your four-pointer in the category of horror. What is Randy killed inside of in Scream 2? And we're looking for a semi-specific answer. A news van. That is correct for four points. All right, but we, with that, we still stay with you. What categories would you like to take next and at what point value? Uh, and Western for two. All right, Westerns for two. It is a two pointer in Westerns. Nat Love is the central focus of what 21st century Western? Uh, repeat the question. That's your first repeat. Question is, Nat Love is the central focus of what 21st century Western? Five, four, three, two, Her grid. Unfortunately, correct. We're looking for the harder they fall, the harder they fall. Oh, okay. so that puts us in the position where Antonio's going to have to answer his three in animation. If he hits it, he'll send it back to Jordan and avoid the technical knockout. If he misses, Jordan will win via technical knockout. So, Antonio, your three point question you selected uh, would be in the category of animation. Your question is what? Animated film features a gang called the Mott Street Maulers. Repeat. One. Okay. That's your second repeat. What animated film features a gang called the Mott Street Maulers? It sounds New York related. Five. Four. Three. Last one. Two. All right. Final repeat. What animated film features a gang called the Mott Street Maulers?
five, four. Oliver and Company. And your winner by way of technical knockout, Jordan Owens. We were looking for an American tail, an oh. American tail. So uh, close game uh, in terms of like Antonio's just getting there. And all these answers was dancing around him, but that was a great game. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in our unfortunate second place judges, Antonio and Jake. Uh, not necessarily the outcome that I think either anyone would have necessarily expected, but you guys, uh, you kept it real close at round one. That round two really just kind of didn't go your way. The four, the pull on the four put you right back in it and just maybe not quite in your wheelhouse out of there. How are you guys feeling? Yeah, it's that round two. And I, actually, it was uh, kind of not worried about 90s comedies, and then I heard the actual questions, and I'm like, man, this is all stuff I didn't really even watch. Because <laughs> I just try like, to like watch 90s comedies. None of them were like in my wheelhouse, so... Yeah, it's just how the wheel rolls, and uh, yeah, just uh, I mean, JPO's pulled it out, so gotta respect that. Yeah, I mean, credit to him for uh, getting those twenty first century horror questions. Um, though, and maybe this is just my taste, but the it felt like the question difficulty was a little bit uneven. But like, I, I don't want to get into that more because nobody likes complaining about that stuff. I just think that, and like, but Jordan played well; like, he did well with the questions that he had and he got, the steals on his strength, and he played well. He's been, he's kind of been DMC kryptonite this year, honestly, in Melee. First Kaiser and now Antonio, TK on both of them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's, uh, but, yeah, it's just with stuff not in his wheelhouse in round three, and, like, it's unfortunate. I... I, I broke my heart a little bit that last question because it's like I had a good friend who who uh, lived on Mott Street in New York, and I was like, "This is bullshit." Uh, but uh, yeah, coming to the New yeah, York question, so but no, all the all the props to Jordan. He played really well. Yeah, I know. I was like, "Is it American Taylor Oliver and Company?" I was thinking that in my head too. But um, yeah, jo Jordan played great. Can't take anything away from him. But um, yeah, just uh, come back. Come back stronger. Yeah, all I can do. All I can do. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that does unfortunately end your season here in singles. Uh, is there anyone you're hoping to play when you come back next season? Uh, anybody pretty much. You know, I don't like the like chill matches like this where it's against people that are not in my faction, but that I have like a really cool like JPO and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully by next season, this will give me time that I can really just delve into a lot of stuff, and uh, hopefully I'll be back. No, I will be back stronger than ever uh, next season. For sure. Uh, well, we'll see you guys real soon. We'll bring in your winner today, Jordan Owens. Uh, another my, man, my manager for, finally for showed rookie up. Season. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, very adorable manager. Uh, puts you up to a 3-1 record coming out of this. Uh, how you feeling about your win today? No, man. If I was if I was a betting man, hold on. I'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk strategy later. Uh, if I was a betting man, I know I would have had my money on Antonio, but I, that seems to be kind of my calling card. Uh, the wheel was kind of nice to me today for once. Me and you, wheel. We haven't gotten along in the past, but we kind of got along today. So uh, hopefully, I can keep that momentum going, man. Yeah, I love playing Antonio. He's a good dude. And uh, yeah, a couple upsets in a row, man. Uh, games I did not expect to do so well in. Um, or I do well in, but not against who I was facing. So uh, I'm happy that uh, it, it, it's been going pretty good for me here, and hopefully I can keep that momentum. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of momentum, Jake sort of brought it up before that you seem to be like a fun DMC kryptonite, uh, and that may or may not be the case. You'll be playing another fun DMC member in your next oh. match. You'll be going up against Robert Kastner. Uh, ah, well, that momentum was good while it lasted. No, uh, listen, uh, – <laughs> Maybe maybe I could become that upset kid, man. If that, if I could do that three in a row, that's pretty cool, I think. So, uh, but we'll see. I'm definitely not counting the eggs before they hatch. But uh, we'll, we'll see when we get there. See what he picks for strengths. Maybe maybe this one I have to really sit sit down and do some study and just in case you know that wheel that wheel doesn't like me, so I don't get shut out. So yeah, that that's gonna be another one I'm definitely gonna uh, uh, <laughs> have to have to look out for. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on the win, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching Movie Melee. That has been Jordan. That has been Jake. That has been Antonio. I have been Caleb, and this has been Movie Melee. We'll see you guys real soon with another great match. Goodbye.
of the castle. Can you get a like? Give or take a bite.